right, my fellow Moon Scouts. This find in our search into the mines is called No End House. Let's see what this one is all about. No End. Hmm. No End House. I love sitting and thinking about what that could mean. What's up? Hey, Pete. I think I found the place. The No Man House? Yeah, yeah. You said it's, um, it's 10819 Russell Street, yeah? Yeah, that's the one. Just Oof. remember why it's called the No Man House. They say as you go on, it just gets more unnatural. Unnatural. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know about that, but... Unnatural. Uh, That's an awesome like looking trip. house. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love that. It's so pretty. See you later, Pete. I love, like, fancy old Victorian style mansion houses. Ooh, it's got the red door. So, um, a little, uh, a little Moon Scouty fact tidbit about this short. Um, nine rooms follow, reach the end, and you win. Okay. Um, so this, uh, short is actually, well, the story at least was made into a season of Channel Zero, uh, the sci-fi channel TV show, um, which each season is based on a different creepypasta story. So this, this story was actually made into a whole season. Um, so that's really cool. And it's also available on Shudder now. I've only seen one season of it so far, but the first season was based on the uh, scary, or the creepypasta um, Candle Cove. I think that's the name of it. Um, pretty creepy stuff. I love that there's all these little cheesy Halloween decorations in this house. It always starts off so innocent. And we'll see where this goes. Alright, so we have a bunch of moving shadows. Um... Is there like a projector screen doing that or how's that working? Huh. Interesting. Oof. I wouldn't, I, I'll say that right now. I would not do this alone. Nope. No way. Well, yeah, I don't do just like all dark rooms. That's scary. Like, a room that's just pitch black is so much more... Oh, there's like something up in the corner. I don't know what that's all about, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, what is he doing? Is he just trying to get a light on? Oh, that was like a security camera. I was getting creeped out because there was this flashing light like kind of near his head, but I think it's just like a camera. <laughs> um... I start saying things and then I forget what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I was just saying I hate just all dark. Like, oof. If I'm going through like a Halloween haunted walkthrough. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, it's gonna get really loud all of a sudden, isn't it? Um. Ugh. Or like where you have to go through the... I don't know, there's always some part where you have to feel around to get out of where you are. That's like way scarier than going through something where you can actually see the monsters and stuff. I just, ugh. Hate having to just blindly feel feeling like that. How many, how many rooms? There's nine? Okay, he already made it to five. What?! He's outside. Okay. Whoa. So, if he's if that was five, so I'm guessing this is only 
The sixth. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hmm. He's looking a little too happy there. Oh my gosh, he's like... And he's off. And he's going. Come on, I, I want to see him make it... Make it to nine at least. Make it to the last one at least. Oh, I was wondering if there would be like a random door. Oh, <gasps> he's gonna launch that... Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. I was kind of- I was seriously kind of wondering if there would just be like a random door. Like, out in the woods like that. Hmm. What's gonna happen now? This looks like that room earlier with the shadows. Oh, maybe he's, like, trapped on the other side of the wall, like, where the people are that were making the shadows. You should have listened, David. Ugh. More creepy children. I'm never leaving, David. You're staying here forever. Ugh. Come on! Air in room s s six. So, there's got to be a way out of here somewhere. There's got to be a way out of here, because there's still three other rooms. Oh, there we go. Huh. I wonder, like, how you, he got out of that one. Just by banging on the walls. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in seven. Got three, got three more. Hmm. Something's not, something's not quite right about that picture. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, there's number eight. Come on, just move. Keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, folks. You just gotta power through this. <gasps> Excuse me. Ate too many Moon Scout cookies. I'm still in the house. Yeah, you are. Come on, get out of go go to the number eight. No, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably have a mental breakdown for a second there. I'd have to just, like, okay, what? Please. Please don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. What okay? the? Yes, you are. And I don't want you to. What's that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I would totally have like a, like a, I'd have to have a moment where I am just like emotionally breaking down before I can move on after like experiencing all of that. To David, the management? If you want to get out. You're gonna hurt me. Oh my goodness! That's pretty messed I'm up. Gonna hurt you. And what are you gonna do? I'm. I'm. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm getting out of here. Is he gonna do it? Oh. No, you're not. 
Come on, just just do it. Just just stab him. Ooh, that just changed. Okay, now. Did he just have that knife on him anyways, or did they, like, kind of give that to him? There we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Door number nine. Door number nine. Come on. I, w I wonder if door number nine is, like, the last room, or if it's, like, the escape. That's what I want to know. And what does he get if he wins? Just that he gets to escape? Or does he get a prize? Like a little Halloween prize? Whoa. There it is. Back to the Halloween decorations, I guess. From management to David, from management, you win! Oh, he got some money? That's cool. Like, how much? 300? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that traumatic of an experience is worth $300, like... I would think someone should at least get a thousand dollars for doing going through that. <laughs> I would probably guess if that was happening to me and I, I don't know, I got through that still sane. I feel like they maybe would have put like, snuck like hallucinogens in you or something at the beginning. <laughs> He's just laughing. Oh, 10. Oh my gosh, that's his own house. What? That's crazy. Maybe this was all like a metaphor. Woodsman, little girl. Um, hmm, that was interesting. That was cool though. I like that one. Is there anything after? Nope. Just a lot of credits. I have to like check now. Oh, based on a short story. Okay, by by Brian Russell. Yes. So this is a this is a creepy pasta. Pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to read the creepy pasta, like the smiling man. I think that was a creepy pasta too. So like, oh man, I have to read the creepy pastas. 